Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 95, conditional format, plus or minus 15%. Hey, all right. I love this one. Mike sent me this one. Conditionally format end values that have increased or decreased by 15% initially. I said, well, this can't be a duel because there's only one way to do it. Ah, but I think I have, I think I have the way, the way. I'm going to take this. Um, and copy it over and I'm going to put it in here, change, change, and it's going to be equal the ending value divided by the beginning value, minus 1. That's going to get our us our percentage change, right? And then, oh, check this out, styles, conditional formatting, icon sets. I'm going to use the brand new icon set, new in 2010, that has the up arrow and the down arrow, uh, but I'm not going to go with the defaults because we only want to highlight things that are um, plus or minus 15%. So I'm going to go into Manage Rules, I'm going to edit the rule, and I'm going to say I want to use this green icon when the value is greater than or equal to 0.15. And then change this to a number, this is going to be minus 0.15, and it probably uh, it's going to be greater than, just to be careful, <laughs> show icon only, show icon only. That is going to make sure that I don't see those numbers over there, which they didn't say they wanted to add the numbers, um, but it will get the icons there without the numbers. Now, next thing I have to do is get rid of the yellow minus signs, conditional formatting, new rule, choose a formula, and it's going to say, let's see, right now we are in D4 equal and D4 less than 0.15 and D4 greater than or uh, yeah, greater than minus 0.15. If that's true, I want to do nothing and oh, by the way, back here, conditional formatting, manage rules, stop if true. <laughs> so that way I want to get the green or the red, click OK. Ah, ah, I hate Excel. So once there's no icon, the whole uh, uh, show the icon only goes away. So I'm going to do Control 1 to format cells, custom, and the semicolon, semicolon, semicolon to hide the value when it happens to show through. All right, now I bet you think I'm done, but I'm not. Check this out. I'm going to make this uh, nice and narrow. I'm going to Control C to copy, and then I'm going to come over here and paste, paste linked picture, and let's get rid of the border along the right hand side here. Control 1, borders, no border on the right. Click OK. Ah, there we go. Now at this point, we can actually Control 1, fill, fill with white, that should get the, yep, there we go, beautiful. All right, now at this point we can hide column D, or actually move column D uh, way out to the right, there we go. All right, so now uh, if we're greater than 15% up, you get the green up arrow, smaller than 15%, less than, or 15% decrease, you get the uh, red down arrow, no extra column visible there, um, but it all works. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Oh, those arrows, that is totally amazing. Check this out. If I change this to 15, that means it should go down. And not only does the color change, but the direction of the arrow changes. That is awesome. Control Z. All right, uh, so I'm not going to be quite that cool. I'm going to use a logical formula to either conditionally format it green for up by 15% or red for 15% uh, minus 15% change. Now we're going to highlight this, use the con conditional formatting dialog box and do our formula, but sometimes it's easier to make the formula off to the side and then copy and paste it into the dialog box. So I'll say relative cell reference and divided by begin minus 1. 
Now, this is a calculating formula. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. It gives us a number, but let's convert this to a logical formula. I'm going to test on the upper end first by saying, hey, is that change greater than or equal to? And I'm going to put my hurdle in a cell. That way, if I change it, it'll automatically change the formatting. And I'm going to lock that with the F4 key. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. So that works on the upper end. We'll have to amend it by putting a less than symbol and a minus here for because we're going to have two conditions, one for the upper end, one for the lower. Now I'm going to copy it, control C from the very top cell from this column, escape. We'll delete that in just a second. Highlight this and the active cell has to be uh, exactly parallel to the cell where we just copied the formula. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt O D. New rule. That works in any version. This formula will work in any version also. Control V. This is for the upper end. So how about some green? OK, we got some green money or something. Click OK. Now on the lower end, I'm going to click New Rule right here. Now we're going to have to amend this slightly. It's not greater than. It's less than. And notice I'm including exactly minus 15%. And on the upper end, I included the 15%. So it's formatted if it's exactly that 15%. And then this is positive right now. So now I'm going to do a negative in front of it. All right, format. Say red. That's a dark value. So I'm going to do light font color. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And so there we have it. If I change this to 0.2. Oh, so some of these we lost or gained 20%. Change it to 0.1. All right, throw it back over to Mr. Excel. That is pretty darn wild, Mike. I like the parameter up there. Uh, that's a good idea. But I'm just uh, kind of amazed here that you rocked out this whole formula without using any parentheses. Uh, that takes a really good knowledge of the order of operations. Uh, wow. I would have thought that that uh, minus 1 would have been uh, calculated in the wrong order. I would have been adding a whole bunch of parentheses there. So uh, for me, the really impressive thing here is that you could do all that without parentheses, and it appears to be working. All right. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel, and Excel is fun. <laughs>